So Apple's AirPods are great if you're watching Netflix or listening to music on your iPhone or your Mac or anywhere just while on the treadmill, but they don't have the best sound quality out there for their price, but they, it's pretty great because of its ecosystem and the seamless experience by just, you know, just opening the box and then just instantly connecting to the device that you have. So we at Smartness Proxy have been using them for a while now. You've probably seen them in some of our videos and I use it every day when I'm going to the gym or just using my iPhone or Mac. And there are some hidden tricks and tricks that even I didn't know about. So we dug around, found some ones that are actually helpful to people. So that's why we brought them to you. Let's begin. So if you happen to lose the AirPods you have, you can find an Apple device through by Find My App. But if you're using AirPods with Android, you can still find them with an app called Wonderfind. So to install the app, go to the Play Store and search for the Wonderfind and download it and after that, install it. So open the app and you'll see the connected devices. So say if I lose one of my AirPods, I'll click on that AirPods and tap on play sound now and it'll automatically play a beep sound on my AirPods. But what's cool about it is that when you're not connected with AirPods, this app just nailed it. Even if your AirPods are not connected to the app, you can still find the AirPods. Next up, we've got a Mac app called AirBuddy 2, which is basically an improved version of AirBuddy. If you frequently connect your AirPods to your Mac for video calls or watching YouTube, just install this app. And once you've installed it, the app will show you the status of your AirPods or, you know, Pro as well, and the other Beats headsets nearby. And not just that, with AirBuddy 2, you also get battery status of your Apple devices at the status menu, including iPhones, iPads, Apple Watch, and other Macs running AirBuddy 2. Either way, go check out AirBuddy 2. It's a paid app that'll cost you about $10 or $5 if you've already got AirBuddy and want to upgrade to AirBuddy 2. The next trick is useful if you use AirPods with a Windows computer. Although Windows 10 natively supports the battery levels of Bluetooth devices that are connected to the computer, AirPods for some reason doesn't transmit the data to Windows because obviously it's out of the ecosystem. That's where this new app comes in. The Bluetooth battery monitor is a nifty app that sits on the system tray and tells you the battery percentage of the devices even Apple's AirPods. The app comes with a seven day trial and if you like the app, you can purchase it for about $5. Now moving on. In the recent update, Apple introduced optimized battery charging for AirPods Pro in which the case has a maximum charge up to 80% and it won't kick back until they think you'll need the extra 20%. This charging AirPods Pro to 80% is useful to extend the battery life of AirPods as well. Thankfully, you can turn it off. So if you want to do that, take out your iPhone and go to settings and open Bluetooth settings and make sure your AirPods are connected to see the status. Click on the info icon on your AirPods. And after that, you'll see a optimized battery charging optimization option. So just turn that off here and we can go back to reaching 100%. So when you charge your AirPods Pro wirelessly, there's no monitoring option to check if the charging is you know, happening or not. But here's a hidden trick. When you place your wireless charger, the LED on AirPods will light up, giving you an indication of whether it's charging or not. But here's something even cooler. When your charging case is kept on a wireless you know, charger, just tap on the light to know if it's charging or not. If you see a green light, it means that it's charging. Otherwise, it's probably not charging. The case is probably aligned in the center of the charging pad and you need to do that again. So if you have an iPhone connected to your AirPods, second generation, you know, or even the newer ones, Siri can read your messages to you as they come in and you can say reply to send one back. That's pretty neat and a useful feature if you're just traveling or running around doing something like, you know, at the gym or whatever. But when you say reply, Siri reads back you the draft of text which is a bit annoying because, you know, it already knows what you want to say. Your reply to Piyush Tanija says, I am fine, how about you? Ready to send it. Thankfully, you can turn off Siri replying you back. So head over to settings, Siri and search. 
announce messages. Here, enable the toggle for reply with confirmation. And once you do that, Siri will send a voice created message directly without reading it out to you. Although I suggest that you check those messages once, especially if you're sending replies to your, you know, your boss or your parents or whatever. You can't trust an AI autocorrect, can you? So those are some of the tips and tricks for AirPods that we found because we've been using them for a while. But what are the ones that you noticed or you didn't know about? Let us know in the comment section below. Or if you found something else that we didn't notice, let us know in the comment section as well. As always, I'm Vamzi from Smart Dance Proxy and if you're new here, check out smartdanceproxy.com because it helps you unblock geo-restricted content on sites like Netflix, Hulu, Amazon Prime, HBO Max. That way you can watch Wonder Woman on the rest of 2020 Warner Brothers catalog. It's as easy as that if you're outside of the United States. Anyway, I'll see you in the next one because this one's gone for way too long.